Shalom. December 21st, 2020. Just going to read a few scriptures this morning. God gave me from Jeremiah 27 and 28. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you for your blood and your mercy and your grace. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. December 21st, 2020, Jeremiah 27 and 28, reading from the Safaria. At the beginning of the reign of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet from the Lord. Thus said the Lord to me, make yourself thongs and bars of yoke and put them on your neck and send them to the king of Edom, the king of Moab, the king of the Ammonites, the king of Tyre, the king of Sidon, by envoys who have come to King Zedekiah of Judah in Jerusalem, and give them this charge to their masters. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, say this to your masters. Excuse me. It is I who made the earth, it is I who made the men and the beasts who are on the earth. By my great might and by my outstretched arm, and I give it to whomever I deem proper. God gives it to whoever he deems proper. And he gives the people what they deserve sometimes, unfortunately. I hereby deliver all of these lands to my servant, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. I even give him the wild beasts to serve him. All nations shall serve him, his son and his grandson, until the turn of his own land comes, when many nations and great kings shall subjugate him. <laughs> many nations and many great kings are subjugating him. The nation or kingdom that does not serve him, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the nations and kingdoms that do not serve King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon and does not put its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, that nation will I visit, declares the Lord, with sword, famine, and pestilence until I have destroyed it by its hands, by his hands, by King Nebuchadnezzar's hands. As for you, give no heed to your prophets or your dreamers or your diviners or your sorcerers who say to you, do not serve the king of Babylon. All the false prophets and the sorcerers and the witches are all saying, do not serve the king of Babylon. Let's steal the election from him. For they prophesy falsely to you with the result that you shall be banished from your land. I will drive you out and you shall perish if you listen to the false prophets. This lines up good with that video my sister made yesterday. But the nation that puts its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serves him will be left by me on its own soil, declares the Lord, to till it and to dwell on it. Those who put their yoke under the king of Babylon will live and be left on its own soil, declares the Lord, its own land, to till it and dwell on it. I also spoke to King Zedekiah of Judah in, the same, in just the same way. Put your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, and his people will live. Otherwise, you will die together with your people by sword, famine, and pestilence, as the Lord has decreed against any nation that does not serve the king of Babylon. Give no heed to the words of the false prophets who say to you, do not serve the king of Babylon, Babylon, for they prophesy falsely to you. Don't listen to the false prophets saying Trump is the Antichrist. And do not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy falsely to you. 
I have not sent them, declares the Lord, and they prophesy falsely in my name, with the result that I will drive you out and you shall perish together with the false prophets who prophesy to you. And to the priest and to all the people that I said, thus saith the Lord, give no heed to the words of the false prophets who prophesy to you. The vessels of the house of the Lord shall shortly be brought back from Babylon, for they prophesy falsely to you. Give them no heed. Serve the king of Babylon and live. Otherwise, this city shall become a ruin by the famine and the pestilence, COVID and the sword. If they are really prophets and the word of the Lord is with them, let them intercede with the Lord of hosts, not to let the vessels remaining in the house of the Lord in the royal palace of Judah and in Jerusalem go to Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the columns and the tank and the stands and the rest of the vessels remaining in the city, which King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon did not take when he exiled King Jeconia, son of Jehoiakim of Judah, from Jerusalem to Babylon, with all the nobles of Judah in Jerusalem. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning the vessels remaining in the house of the Lord, in the royal palace of Judah and in Jerusalem. They shall be brought to Babylon, and there they shall remain, says Jeremiah the prophet, until I take note of them, declares the Lord of hosts, and bring them up and restore them to this place. Until God says, restore them. Then in chapter 28, that year, Next chapter, Jeremiah 28, that year, early in the reign of King Zedekiah of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the false prophet Hananiah, son of Azur, who was from Gibeon, spoke to me, spoke to Jeremiah in the house of the Lord, in the presence of all the priests and all the people. He said it in front of everybody. He said, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I hereby break the yoke of the king of Babylon. In two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the house of the Lord, which King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon took from this place and brought to Babylon. So the false prophet said in two years, everything would be restored that was taken to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place King Jeconia, son of Jehoiakim of Judah. And I will bring back all the Judean exiles who went to Babylon, declares the Lord. Yes, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. So Hananiah said God was going to break the yoke of king, Bab the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, and bring everything back to Israel in two years. And then the prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet, the false prophet Hananiah, in the presence of the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord fulfill what you have prophesied and bring back from Babylon to this place the vessels of the house of the Lord of all, and all the exiles. But just listen to this word which I address to you to all the people. The prophets who lived before you and me from ancient times prophesied war, disaster, and pestilence against many lands and great kingdoms. That's what we're seeing right now. Whew, God gave me this word this morning. I'm reading right now, I'm in uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 8. Prophets who lived before you and me from ancient times prophesied war, disaster, and pestilence against many lands and great kingdoms. That's what we're seeing now. So if a prophet prophesies good fortune, then only when the word of the prophet comes true can it be known that the Lord really sent him. But the prophet Hananiah removed the bar from the neck 
of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it. And Hananiah said in the presence of all the people, Thus saith the Lord, so will I break the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon off the yokes, off the necks of all the nations in two years. So the false prophet Hananiah broke the yoke off Jeremiah's neck and then said, that God said, I will break the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar. I will break the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon from off the necks of all the nations in two years. And then the prophet Jeremiah went on his way. After the prophet Hananiah had broken the bar from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah again. And God said, Go say to Hananiah, Thus saith the Lord, You broke bars of wood, but you shall make bars of iron. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put an iron yoke upon the necks of all those nations, that they may serve King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, and serve him they shall. I have even given the wild beast to him. And the prophet Jeremiah said to the prophet Hananiah, Listen, Hananiah. I read it from the Sepharia. Listen, Hananiah. The Lord did not send you, and you have given this people lying assurances. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have given this people lying assurances. Assuredly, thus saith the Lord. Assuredly, thus saith the Lord. I am going to banish you from off the earth. This year you shall die if you have urged disloyalty to the Lord by giving a false word of lying assurances. Saying that the false prophet said that God was going to break the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar off all the nations. And uh, the real prophet Jeremiah said, no, that's not what God said. And prophet Hananiah died that year in the seventh month. So that's pretty deep. God gave me that this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood and your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be a great Christmas and a great New Year's, no matter what famine, pestilence, war comes against us. The darker it gets, the brighter we're going to shine in your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.